Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and uh, here's another episode of What We Automated This Week. Now, before we get started, let me start off saying this week we were doing more consulting work, and Irfan and Rizwan were both off. Uh, anyway, and also I want to announce we're starting to have subscriptions to where you can subscribe to all of our courses instead of purchasing courses individually. So watch out for that video. It'll be released soon this week. So let me jump into share my desktop. Let's use Prompt Assistant. Oh, this, this is a tool we used, of course, to... Uh, it helps launch. You can have hot strings or hot keys or launch tools. And so here, uh, recently modified files. I don't know. I haven't run this. Let's see. Let's check in right now. It's 11. Wow. That's like a record low. Um, yeah, we uh, we did a lot of the stuff. I also was doing other things than working on Autometer uh, this week. So FFmpeg Ripper. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, during the hero call, we noticed... Let me see if let me see if we left. I don't remember if we left the old code there, but what we noticed was in this example. And now was this the one four thirteen? That was a couple days yesterday. Yeah. So, I mean, actually, we can see it right here. Let's see. This, by the way, I'm able to preview Auto Hockey files because we used our preview handler and I associated Auto Hockey files with I think a PDF viewer. Um, yeah, you can see here we created one array. Uh, and before, notice here, now it's commented out, right? So if I actually edit this, it's, you'll notice the scintilla control will help. Um, oh, it's site studio, excuse me. But um, initially, when I opened this up, we had this one here, and then we had two more. There was another one right here, and a third one. Let's see, where was that one? Um, a third one in here somewhere, which maybe got deleted. Um, but there were three of them. Three, oh, here we go. This is the third one. And... I noticed it because we were making some updates to the script, and I'm like, hey, that's a bad example of code. Let's uh, let's fix that. So I asked uh, Isaiah during the call, instead of fixing it on our own, you know, privately, we, we did a little tutorial during the call to help show how that can be updated because um, you really should have, as we have here, one array storing the data without the dot and, um, or asterisk or anything uh, and then you access them. So here we're accessing the array um, right in here. Uh, except it, so this is the array we're accessing there. And then here, when he goes to loop over them, he first builds a text thing that uses that same array and builds the text that we then feed into this. So that was when we updated on that. Uh, it was a really cool example, though, of just teaching how you want to keep your data separate than, than the actual formatting and how you're using it. All right, let's get back into what? Rizwan was working on trying to mimic how we're doing it in the other tools to detect if FFmpeg's installed and he'll finish that up, but we need to show how we can find where it's, if it's in your system path, it's actually not your system path. We're using the user path, which is slightly different. They both have the same overall goal, but one you have to be an admin to update and one you don't. And so we're putting it into the user path, uh, but, um, these were some library, Fox Finder, Config, this, that's in my library. Uh, prompt Assistant, this is the tool. I, actually, I don't know what Isaiah's updated in that this week, but this is that tool. Um, logging and errors, so he was just making a change to that, but we also covered logging and errors uh, in our course, because we're also launching a new Intro to VS Code course uh, this next week. But if you want to get the course and instead want to just pay for a monthly, I think it's around twenty nine ninety nine is the monthly fee, you get access to all of our courses for basically under $30 a month, um, unless you go with the annual. But uh, it, yeah, it's a great way to access them and save yourself some money. Um, so here, I'm not sure what he was doing with this. And our custom list, this one I can't pull up. This one, it's interesting. It uses MySQL to connect to the Automator's WordPress MySQL database online. So you have to build a connection string to make sure you, you find the database, give it a username and password, so you have to figure all that stuff out. It's not something that's easy to, to show and document, so otherwise I would I would show you guys that, but of course I can't because we can't have everyone doing queries on our on our database, because you can do you could do anything you want, like that MySQL database that drives WordPress. Uh, it is interesting though, because a lot of tools have APIs, like EDD is Easy Digital Downloads. It's a plugin, a WordPress plugin we use. They have an API, but the API is limited in what it can do. But because we can access that database directly with MySQL, we can build SQL queries and pull, you know, who's who's a hero member, who's not, um, who's purchased certain courses, 
who we could add stuff, we could change our pretty links, we can do a crazy amount of stuff, almost whatever we want with that database, right? You just have to understand SQL and how to do it. But yeah, um, wow, very short video this week. Uh, I I thought there'd be more, but yeah, um, I know that's funny because I know Irfan original worked Monday. Oh, and it should have, so this should have shown up in here. Because I know they, oh, they were doing some client stuff. So anyway, I'm not sure why, but this this is what we got. So hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it's not longer. Um, like the video if you learned something. Hopefully you learned something. Um, take a look at the, the new offerings we're going to have if you're interested in getting courses and want more of a subscription so you can look around and not have to just buy a course. All right, have a good day. Cheers.